Welcome to McKenzie Creations. In this video, I'm starting a new theme, how to create your own layers for card making. And what I found was that you can find a lot of card making supplies at the dollar store. So I purchased these beautiful um, glitter glue. And so this is like, um, oh, it doesn't have a color name on here. So we'll just call this like a red. And then this is um, just a variation. It's more of a reddish pink. And this is a purple. They have this pretty orange. They have green. They have this beautiful gold. Um, this is like a, a autumn color. It's like a orangish, um, a dark orange. It's like a burnt orange. That's a really beautiful color. They had the glue, um, blue. And then this is like a yellow, silver, and then this pretty pink. And so I'm not really a fan of glitter. My daughter um, actually loves it. So um, I just picked these all up because she can do um, projects with this as well. So for now, we're gonna focus on Valentine's Day coming up and I'm gonna use the red colors. So I'm just gonna put these other, other colors up for now. Maybe I'll keep the pink one out. And I'll keep these four colors out. Yeah, when I was at the dollar store, I started just to pick up one or two of these, but I said, you know what, I'm just gonna get all the colors because a lot of their stock run out really quick. So you have to grab stuff when you see them and they have a lot of good um, craft supplies and this is a great way to stock up on items. So we're gonna start out with a white base. Now I normally make A2 cards, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I cut these layers down to four by five and one fourth. And so today we're just gonna make the layers. I found that um, if you be prepared in your card making, it'll go by much quicker for you. So a lot of times I'll sit and cut dies out while I'm watching TV. And I figured this would be a great theme for my YouTube video because we can um, make layers and just store them. And then when we go to make a card, we'll already have some layers made up. So I have never tried this glitter glue, so It'll either work or be a disaster. So um, we'll work through this together. So I, um, I also grabbed some paint brushes. So we may need to use this just to spread the glue out. Okay. Let's see if I can get these out here. And I'll just take I'll just take the larger brush and um, I was thinking about like just layering the colors going across or either we can go down or you can just blend it together so we'll see um, I have no idea what I'm doing but that's the fun thing about you know being creative you can just try stuff out either it's gonna work or it's not and so I've never used this glitter glue, so we'll see. Just push a little bit out. And I think I'm gonna go like in a, a pattern here. So I'm gonna hold this down just so I can get into a straight area. And then I'm just gonna take the paintbrush and brush it across. And it's not a lot of glitter coming down on here, so we may have to do a couple layers. I probably should have taped this down and I don't have my tape on me. So I'll just hold it. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need a few layers so I don't know if I should just move on to the next layer or just let's try to get another line on here. 
it's pretty. Oh yeah, see when you start stacking the layers up, it looks much better. It almost looks like the paper is warping a little bit. So, um, hmm. We'll see how this comes out. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to the next color. Just try to keep it even. You know, just estimate. Um, let's try this pink next. Oh, okay. I'll try this pretty pink. Kind of looks opaque, so may have to put a few layers of this down as well. I can definitely see that my paper is um, curling up a little bit. So I wonder if it's going to be okay when it dry. Let me clean this red off up here. I have a little uh, bowl of water, so I'm just going to clean my brush off. And then we'll go put the pink down. I mean, they sell this glitter glue, so it must be popular. You really can't see the pink is so light. Hmm. And this paintbrush, maybe I should have asked my daughter to use some of her good paint brushes. Um, I um, she got a nice set for Christmas because these paint brushes, the bristles are are kind of coming off on the paper here. So let me try to get these off. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not really liking what I see so far, but this is how you learn trial and error. Yeah, this pink is really, it's almost clear. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do another layer. We'll just go down to the next color. I'll use a darker color. Maybe I should just actually blend them. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just, yeah, let's just forgo this and just, um, I'm just going to put a bunch of colors down. See how the paper is kind of warping. And I don't know if, if when it dries, it'll get a little better here. This is just like a regular, um, you know what, let me start over. I'm gonna start this over and I'm gonna get, I do have some Arteza watercolor paper, so hold on one second, I'll be right back. Welcome back to McKenzie Creations. So the paper that I was using was just a regular car stock paper. And as you can see, the paper was really warping. And um, so I decided to try this um, Arteza and it's a watercolor um, paper. And it's um, it's really thick, so I just cut the layers down to um, four and by five and one fourth. And so we'll give this a try on the watercolor paper and see how it holds up. And so we'll just use um, the regular cardstock paper paper for um, another project. So instead of like doing layers, I think I'm just gonna just blend all of these colors together. So I'm gonna put down all of these pretty colors and then we'll just start painting. Let's open this up. Oh, that's really pretty. And then this is like a purplish color. 
So we'll see how these um, blend together. Let me just wipe this brush down. Okay. Now, I'm just going to start blending here. Just going in like a circular pattern or just, you know, however. Well, just start. Oh, look at this purple. It's really pretty. Wow. I think the purple is going to take over here. Which is fine by me. And the paper is doing really much better. And so this is going to definitely have to take time to dry. So I'll let this, once we get done, I'll let it dry and then I'll come back and just show you how it looks after the paper has dried. And that's really pretty here. Um, let's see. Kind of want some more red in here. Excuse the noise. I told my kids I was making a, a video and they were still upstairs making a ton of noise. Okay, yeah, this glitter is really, um, it's really nice. You can really see it. Now you do see that the paper is curling up, but at least it's not like wrinkling. So maybe that's a bad word, but once it dries, I'll just lay something heavy on it and to flatten it back out. So I think the layer will be fine. So we are done with this and I actually like this. This is really pretty. You can see all the glitter in the hair. And I like the blended colors. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this up so you can see it. Hopefully you can see all the sparkly glitter on here. So what I'm going to do is um, let this dry and then I'm going to flatten the card by putting something heavy on it and then we'll come back. Um, I do have some little bristles in here that I don't like so I will invest in some better bristles. And so you just learn as you go along what works, what doesn't work. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get these little bristles out of here. It's in the paper. Oh, let's see if I see any more. Okay, I think this is okay. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, clean this up, and then we'll go to another um, layering. Welcome back to McKenzie Creations. In this next segment of the video, I'm going to continue to use some dollar um, store finds. And so I purchased um, some of these stickers and I figured these would make cute little um, layer cards. So we are going to get started and just look at these. These remind me of the little cute candies that have all the little um, sentiments on it. So I thought that would be uh, cute. And these are foam stickers. And then these are um, felt stickers. And these are um, glitter. And then these are glitter as well, but they're um, cut out. So the middle is cut out of um, the center of the hearts. So I figured we can make some background layers um, with the stickers. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna start off, I think we'll do like a white paper. And then um, also I think this, pink will be pretty. So we'll do two more layers in this segment. And I definitely want to use these little cuties here. I think those are nice. And then let's do a glitter here. And I'm going to use this one just because they have the different colors. So um, and then we can use the other ones in a different project. And actually, look at this set here. Um, these hearts are pretty big, so you can kind of use this as a focal point 
um, like if you cut out a big heart die and kind of incorporate it with these bigger stickers. So that's just a thought. Lots of ideas. And this is a great way to build up your um, crafting supplies. So I'm going to start, um, I think I'll use the white for this particular layer. And let's get this open. So I'll just dump these out. Oh, they have different sizes too, which is cute. At least I think so. Do they even make this candy anymore? These are so cute. I haven't seen these in a while. Comment if you know if these candies are still out. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Oh, this is cute. It says, be mine. So let's get these started. I'm not going to need a lot of these because they're a little bit big. So I don't know. Let's kind of see how we want to. Like, do we just put them across? Maybe do three. I'm not going to use the white just because we're using a white background. So maybe we can just go three across with the different colors. Um, let's see. Yellow. Um, the cards don't have any red. Let me pour some more of these out. I'm just going to try to pour them all out. I don't see any red hearts in here. So, nope. So we'll just continue. Yeah, this is really cute. I mean, you can play with them and, you know, arrange them however you like, but this is, um, this is really cute. Oh, this one says sweetheart. Oh, let's get another purple. Oh, and then what would be nice is we can cut out like a really nice um, red dye to put on top of here. We'll have to see. Um, I'll have to see. This is just a layer right here. So when I actually go to make a card, I'll have to figure out, um, figure out how I would finish off the card. Okay, let's put this orange here. And put the yellow here and purple in the middle. Yeah, I think that's cute. That's really cute. Yeah. So I'm going to um, just go ahead and get these. I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and get these stuck down just like I have it here. And then we'll be finished with this layer. And so um, the idea here with this new theme is to work on layers and then I'll just keep them stored. And then when I go to make cards, it'll be nice to already have my layers made up. Um, it'll just make your card making go by much quicker. So I'm going to pause the video and just put these, um, stick the, um, the hearts down. Okay, I'm back and I have all the um, little hearts um, stuck down. And this was actually really nice because the stickers, um, you just pulled the back off and the adhesive was actually really strong because I was thinking about um, putting a little glue on it. But I didn't have to do that. It was really sticky and they stuck down um, really easy. And so this is the final layer. And I really like this. You can do so much. You can actually just leave this as a focal point here and just mount it to your card base. Or I was also thinking I have some heart dies and I can cut the heart die out and then adhere these on so it'll be the main focal point. So um, yeah, I had fun with this layer. So we're going to move on to the next layer. And I think I said I was going to use this paper, the um, pink paper. So we will get these stickers out 
And I mean, this is something really simple. Um, just sticking on stickers. But sometimes you just need different ideas. And I think, you know, going to the dollar store, you don't have to buy expensive stuff all the time. You know, you just um, have a mix of things. So I'm going to get these stickers out. And um, I think I'm just going to just get these on here. Let's see. I think with these, I'll just like rotate them and just, you know, just have them random. So I'm just going to get these down. Yeah, we'll just stick them on here randomly. Just kind of float all around. And this is really easy. Okay, this one's been a little fussy here. Okay. Well, it's stuck down. The glue is really um, nice on these stickers. So that came out. I actually don't like the way. I don't know if that'll. I'm going to peel this one off. Yeah. Kind of when I put it on, it was a little bit. Um, Cricket, so um, let's see. I'll get this one put on here. So just be careful when you stick them on. We'll center this one. And get some little ones. Kind of floated the, yeah. See these ones right here, with the um the middle out, is a little bit more difficult. So just be careful when you put it down. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna try to fill up the space. Looking good. We're almost done. See, these are quick little projects. Um, maybe I'll get some of the smaller ones. And I don't think I can get another. I think the one big one is enough. So we'll just go with the smaller ones. And if you were making this for um, like a guy, um, this would be actually cute on like a gray paper stock. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that as well. Not for this video, but I think that's a good idea. Like if you want to send a card to um, for your husband or your significant other, that's a guy. Um, a gray paper stock would be really nice. Or even black because this will pop out. The colors are so vibrant. So let's get a few more stuff on here. Mm. Um, a few more. stuff to be too busy um, okay I think I'm gonna try to get one right here and that'll be it Um, 
Let's get a Or what I actually should have did was I could have um, combined these two. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I really should have did that, like mix these together and just had, um, you know, some open ones and some closed ones. But that's okay. I think this came out cute. So we'll go with this for this layer. So um, for the purposes of this video, we actually did three layers. We did the glitter layer. It's still drying, so what I'll do, I don't have a heat dryer um, for cards, so I'll have to invest in that. But I'll let that dry overnight, and then I'll um, sit something heavy on it so it'll flatten back out. And then I'll take a picture and include it in the video. But then we also made this cute one. I, I really like how this came out. It just reminds me when we were kids and we had little um, candies that look like this. And the little sentiments on here say, be mine, hugs and kisses, um, you know, with the X's and O's. Um, they kind of repeat the sentiments, but this one says, love bug. You're cute, sweetheart. Love you. So, yeah, that really came out nice. And then the last layer we worked on is um, the glitter hearts. And, um, yeah, this really looks cute. So, yeah, these are the layers. And then um, when I go to make a card, you know, I can just go on my stash and um, grab a little layer out to make um, my final card. So, um, yeah, this is fun. And I really like this new theme. And, you know, you can be creative as you like. You know, you can do something simple. Just like I did, I went to the dollar store and got these little stickers. I didn't have to use any glue or anything. So this was um, really fun to work on and just something simple to do. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.